Generations of debate, months of heavy construction, and now the first phase of the streetcar lines are complete in downtown Milwaukee. City leaders are celebrating the hop, as it's called this afternoon. Our Sean Gallagher has a construction update, and Sean, there's quite a crowd behind you. Yeah, that's for sure, Vince and Elise. A lot of people here at this ceremony are going to have the opportunity to sign a commemorative rail to be a part of the history with the hop. But when it comes to the streetcar here in Milwaukee, history has a way of repeating itself. The Milwaukee streetcar had its last run in 1958, some 60 years ago. At the time, the city decided to shut it down because of a new type of technology taking over the roads, the automobile. I think in the 1950s, cars were the craze. Now there are people who are saying, well, I want to be more flexible and I want to have more, more ability to control my own destiny. The former streetcar was used in the same fashion as buses are today. There were routes all over the city. Because of its popularity then, it led to great economic gains, something Mayor Barrett is hopeful for with the hop. Not just Milwaukee, but around the nation, you're seeing more streetcars, you're seeing more light rail, and that's part of this. Downtown is exploding in a positive way with an economic renaissance, any, unlike anything we've seen really in generations. But will history repeat itself with the hop? Mayor Barrett says no. Well, I think a lot of communities got rid of their streetcars, and now what you're seeing is you're seeing a lot of young people, a lot of people who don't want to have a car. That's what's different. And the hop is on track to make its debut in the fall. And Mayor Barrett told me earlier this morning he's hoping for early November. In downtown Milwaukee, Sean Gallagher, today's TMJ4.